What's going on everybody? It's Game and Boxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham news update. Now I really want to get this video out there as soon as possible because some huge news has just been released. I've got um, a few more screenshots to show off and four brand new characters have just been revealed for the game. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off here we have a brand new screenshot and a really nice look at Polka Dot Man. Now I did a video, um, I think it uploaded yesterday, basically there's been a lot of problems with my internet, um, or the area's internet actually, uh, so I couldn't really upload very much which is ridiculous, but I'm back now so it's okay. So in the video I said that uh, Polka Dot Man, you know, he can throw polka dots, he can fly, he can turn into this ball, he's a really crazy and very fun character. So he looks great and I absolutely love his design. But, if we uh, take away from Polka Dot Man for a second, you can see in the very far right, there's actually a few Robin suits. Now, um, I zoomed in and I'm pretty sure it's 1960s Robin, the Hazmat Robin, and possibly Magnet Suit Robin, I think? I could be wrong there, but it's uh, some of them. And it's interesting to see that they're in the Batcave, so does that mean maybe we can go up to it as uh, Robin and just change into suits? I mean, we, we do have, uh, you know, the suit wheel now. That's what Arthur Parsons said. He said the suit wheel was introduced so players could get into any suit at any time, regardless of the situation. Because if you want to fly around in space suit as much as possible in the free roam, you can do that. It's completely up to you. So I definitely think... Um, it could be something like that, or maybe we can create our own suits for Batman and Robin and other characters. That would be pretty insane. Next up, we get an amazing look at Deadshot. Now, Deadshot just looks so cool here. I mean, his weapons in the EGX gameplay, oh, they, they were so cool and so powerful. They've really added, yes, they've got a lot of silly characters, you know, like Polka Dot Man and, um, and things like that. And like back cow but they do have these really awesome characters that we all wanted to play as like deadshot so i'm really happy that they've got deadshot in the game and i definitely think he's going to be a lot more fun and usually uh when they do show them off at these big events tends to be that when you actually play the game you notice a few more features that they've thrown in there for fun so that should be really interesting to see and here we have the last screenshot of the announced characters so far. There are a few more characters I'm going to show off very soon and I just cannot wait to show you guys because you're going to... You, you might explode, um, but this is Deathstroke. Yes, of course, Deathstroke is in this game. It was hugely requested, you know, highly requested character. I noticed in the video in the comment section that you guys were going nuts over Deathstroke. You know, you were so happy. You were so happy he had all these weapons. You know, he had his pistol, his staff, his sword. He could do everything you were all hoping for and more. So I'm really glad to see that you're all happy about Deathstroke. Me personally, yes, definitely. I cannot wait to play as Deathstroke, to run around, shooting everything, smashing everything up, it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to see if they've maybe added a few more features in there that we don't know about when the game releases, so yeah, that should be really cool. Alright, so here we are, we're at the main event of this video because these characters are going to blow you away. So, first off, here we have the creative officer at DC Comics and that is of course Jeff Johns. He is a playable character in the game, at least I think so, I mean, um, they had this with Lego Marvel, you know, they had like Stan Lee and things. Um, but they got Jeff Johns here and he's in the Batcave, so if he's in the Batcave, I would imagine that he's playable. So it's really cool to see this, but he isn't the only character that isn't a superhero that is playable in this game so yeah it's, it's pretty cool the next one and here we have of course kevin smith the one of the writers for dc comics he is also uh, i'd imagine a playable character because again he's in the Batcave. i really like how they've got these writers in the game and, and things and they're all playable uh, they both have some sort of weaponry i think it would be cool to see maybe um for example jeff johns and kevin smith if they say their favorite dc character and then they're given those abilities who knows they could i mean they still look awesome and i really like the guns they have but um i think it'd be really cool to see that but we'll have to wait and see now you're probably thinking, okay Ben, that is really cool that we get to play as them, but what about real DC Comics characters? Is there any more they're going to announce? Oh yes, oh yes, wait and see for this one. And here he is, Mr. Bruce Wayne. He is a playable character in this game, I'm really happy to see this. I know it's a small thing, but me personally, um, you can't have Batman without Bruce Wayne. So it's really nice, again, to see that I'll be able to run around as Clark Kent with Bruce Wayne. And then hopefully he'll have a transformation. Hopefully Bruce Wayne can transform into his Bat costume. If he can, I will probably scream during uh, New York Comic Con or something. Because that would just be incredible. And I've always wanted a game to let me do that, you know. To be able to get into the suit at any time. So 
fingers crossed that Bruce Wayne is a part of Batman's suit wheel because then we'll have all these crazy suits, we'll have his default one, and then we'll have Bruce Wayne himself, and then of course we've got the 75th anniversary, we've got the 1960s content, we've got the Dark Knight, so much Batman content. It's insane, I mean, every day now they release more and more content and you just get more and more excited for this game. Now, <laughs> the final character I'm going to reveal is, uh, well, wait and see. Yep. Let me just let that sink in for a minute. That is Green Arrow. <laughs> Green Arrow is a playable character in Lego Batman Free Beyond Gotham. You can all stop worrying. Uh, you know, you and your brothers and your sisters and your family can all have a fight with Green Arrow and Deathstroke. It's going to happen. He's a playable character. Now, you're probably screaming right now, but let me tell you something even more cooler. Um, if you watch the Arrow TV show, you'll know, of course, that uh, Green Arrow is played by Stephen Amell. He is going to be voicing Green Arrow in this game. So, um, if you remember a while back, he did actually say um, he's going to be voicing Green Arrow in a popular video game franchise. Um, and somebody said Arkham Knight, and I think he said no. And then I think someone said Lego Batman 3, and he said, I can't say anything. And, yeah, here it is. He is playable. He is voiced by Stephen Amell. And I am very, very happy right now. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep calm because I'm so happy. It's... I mean, Green Arrow and Deathstroke are now playable. We can fight them and everything. I'm not sure if uh, Green Arrow will have his hood up because, as, as you can see here, he, he's got his hood down. Maybe he has his hood up uh, It's one of the suits. I'm not really sure. And it would be really cool to still see um, an Arrow TV show DLC pack. I think with Green Arrow now being in the game itself, I think there's a huge possibility that we'll get an Arrow TV show DLC pack. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all the reveals that were uh, revealed today in all these brand new characters. We've got Green Arrow, Bruce Wayne, Jeff Johns, and uh, Kevin Smith. You know, really, really exciting stuff. But also, um, LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham is actually going to be having a panel at uh, New York Comic Con this year. So uh, basically what it says here is, join us at the main stage 1D at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center on Saturday, October 11th at 12pm for an animated panel discussion with actors Kevin Smith and Troy Baker, TT Games developer Arthur Parsons and Stephen Sharples, DC Entertainment's uh, Chief Creative Officer Jeff Johns, plus a very special guest appearance by the one and only Stephen Amell, star of the hit TV series Arrow. The panelists will go behind the scenes of this year's ultimate superhero adventure for all ages and reveal new characters, show off exclusive gameplay demos and give away out of this world prizes. So that is a lot to look forward to and really I'm still trying to get over the fact that Stephen Amell is going to be voicing Green Arrow in this game. I mean, he voiced him in uh, Injustice Gods Among Us and that was so cool to be able to play as him and fight Deathstroke and actually hear him you know, hear his voice from the show was so cool. So I really cannot wait to see more of this game at New York Comic Con. All right, guys, so I want to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for lots more news on LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.